One of the big misconceptions around content and video and media in particular is that it has to be perfect from the get-go. It has to be perfect in one take. If you don't do it in one take, you have to start from scratch. Not only is that going to belittle your confidence around the, your ability to use video and media, it's going to just really slow down your process. It's gonna slow down your ability to produce content because once content becomes a chore, it usually doesn't get done, usually. Now, if you don't feel like doing content, I encourage you to take the documenting approach to content, which, for example, if you're on a Zoom call with a client, or even if you're on a regular phone call, you can have a camera recording that call. Just ask your client for permission based on what you're discussing, and then just be smart about if there's something private you discussed in the Zoom itself, just don't use that for the public facing content. I'm sure that if you're having a 50 minute chat, 50 minute chat, there's a lot of uh, principles that are generally applicable as opposed to needing all the nitty gritty details that are more private to that person. So that's one example of the documenting approach. Another example of documenting is using what we call the 5-1 the principle. Documenting here is when we use the 5-1 principle, what happens is every five minutes of you speaking on camera, you're gonna have at minimum one piece, one minute of quality content. So if you speak for five minutes, you'll get one minute of quality content. In practice, the 5-1 principle is best done in a range of five to seven minutes. Now this is when you are speaking on camera solo. So if you're having a conversation between your partner, your business partner, client, what have you, this is gonna turn into at least a 10 to 15 minute chat. Now, yes, technically the math works out to 14, but let's just make it simple and it's 10 to 15 minutes. And the reason why we're not just hopping into a 60 minute chat and recording the whole thing, or even a 30 minute networking call that you have with someone. And how many times have you had a networking call with someone on Zoom where you said, oh, do you mind if we record this for content later? If you don't have the systems in place, even 30 minutes of content is a nightmare to watch through and find the nuggets or find the parts that are worth sharing. That's where, when you break this limit of this 10 to 15 minute range, when you get past that, you have to bring on an extra hand. If you don't, it's gonna be really challenging for you to work through this content and actually get something valuable out of it. And then what's gonna happen is you will grab one small clip out of that long form footage and now the long form footage gets thrown, gets thrown in the trash. And then now you're not able to have that long form asset for the long term, for in perpetuity, to be on your YouTube channel, your Facebook page, your LinkedIn company page, and then also backed up on either your Google Drive or Dropbox so that you can repurpose it and share it a few months from now or even a few weeks from now. It's a really high performing post. It resonates with a lot of, a lot of folks. Being able to see your media and view it as a long term endeavor, it's gonna allow you to create that behavioral change that's needed in order to actually get going with it. And, and this is one example of, of a principle you can use to shift into that behavioral change. How many times and have you been guilty of saying that you don't have enough time? Time is the enemy. Time is the enemy. It's like I'm doing the, the tagline for the movie 1917 a few years ago. Time is the enemy but we are not. The truth is, if you take the 5-1 principle, even on a five to seven minute amount of time speaking, you could schedule out a 15 minute block in your calendar and theoretically do this exercise twice. Now, when you're just starting out, just do it once, but I'm telling you that you physically have enough time to do it, but what usually holds you back is that you prep a lot in your head before you get going in the five to seven minutes. That 15 minute block, you spend that whole 15 minutes brainstorming, thinking in your head of what should I say? What's the good thing to say? What's the right thing to say? It's much better to move into some form of productive action by following the 5-1 principle and get into speaking on camera for five to seven minutes. On average, 
on average, if you're speaking for five minutes on the lower side of the range, it's gonna take you two minutes to get warmed up to speaking on camera because regardless of how much you practice off camera, once the camera's on, you're, it's human instinct, you're gonna naturally act differently. Once you do it again and again and again and again, the camera's gonna be no big deal, it's gonna become your friend. But in the beginning, it is not your friend. So you have to plan accordingly and by using the 5-1 principle, five minutes speaking on camera, expect two minutes where you're warming up and you very likely won't use much of that first two minutes. But in, in those last three minutes, that's when you really will find yourself picking up steam. And that's where the majority of that one minute of content is gonna come from. Now listen, let me know what your perspective is on this. I know, I know you might have had a tough time reading the board from here. We'll try to get some, some over, text overlays and things so that you can get a better sense of what was being written as we were going through. But if you have any perspectives on this and you wanna share your thoughts, just drop them in the comments and let us know what you think. It's Randy here from Married Talking Media. I will see you in the next one.